After days of heavy rain, many basements in mid-Michigan are taking in water. News 10's Jordan Burrell spoke with the experts tonight and has some important advice about dealing with a water disaster in your home. Jordan? With April comes showers, and I spoke to Disaster MD Restoration Services, and they say there are ways you can prevent flood damage, but if it does happen, here's what they say you should do. Disaster MD Restoration Services says there are things you can look for on the exterior of your home before it floods. Look at the gutters if you're going to be looking at the exterior of the home. Look for signs of foundation issues, so if you see any kind of crumbling, any kind of like bricks that are falling down, or if you see concrete on the ground, if you see cracks, um, that's a good indication there's foundation issues, which would you know flood a basement or a lower level. Hargis saying she would recommend an air quality test for every household. Which is going to measure spore count outside of your home and inside of your home to see if you have an elevated count. Um, and that would be you know, indicative of that you have some kind of water damage issue going on. Before it floods, there are precautions that you can take if your home does flood that will make the damage more manageable. Use plastic totes instead of storing things in cardboard boxes or just um, being able to stack them off the ground. We get a lot of uh, damage that, you know, everyone's items have to be disposed of because they were stored in cardboard boxes or, you know, they just have mounds of clothes on the floor, things like that, that, you know, if there's a backup or a blockage that happens and their home floods with sewage or something like that, all their items have to be disposed of. The most common cause of home floods is faulty drain systems, broken pipes, or a damaged foundation. It is recommended that people repair leaks immediately, stay on top of gutter maintenance, and filling in cracks where needed.